Good morning. Good morning, my beautiful, beautiful people. Here we go. My special sauce. I have a recipe on that, but my daughter decided to put a healthier ingredient in, and she, uh, number one, Erica, if you can help me out over here, uh, sesame seeds, uh, sunflower seeds. What are the benefits of sunflower seeds? They're good for your skin. They're good to heal any inflammation in your body. Uh, they're high in um, minerals. They uh, don't let bad cholesterol stick to you. Stick to you. When I tell you these are Very good. tiny little powerhouses, it is important to incorporate some sunflower seeds daily if you can. Let it be as a little creamy sauce. I'll show you how to do that one day. But she decided to use this instead of the mayonnaise. And when I tell you, my husband went crazy. He says, Connie, this is way better than the one you made. So there you go. Thumbs up, Erica. She's going to start putting up some of her recipes up. And I am going to show you how easy and delicious this is. So she starts off with half a cup of sunflower seeds and the whole purpose is to get the sunflower seed in your diet right and why not put it in a spread so if you're gonna have a sandwich or something you could put some of this it's better than putting mayo when I tell you this is like crazy I was making my husband his his burgers that my daughter made for him which is her recipe Ugh, the smell was killing me I was gonna die so, so good. She's going to be putting it up on her YouTube soon. So, guys, if you want to follow her, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put a tag for you uh, in the video and under the video if you want to go and check out her YouTube channel and maybe support her. That would really be nice. Thank you, guys. So, here we go. She started off with half a cup of sunflower seeds that are, that are hauled raw sunflower seeds and she soaked them a whole day um, you do put them in the refrigerator uh, at the end of the night so in the morning you're going to rinse these out and look how much you get because they've been soaking for so long and we're going to put it in a Nutribullet or a blender I prefer the Nutribullet rather than the blender so I don't have to hassle the blade at the bottom of the blender and I'm able to pull it out okay so we've got half a cup of soaked sunflower seeds that goes in here we go and to this uh, we're gonna add four tablespoons of French dressing now if you want to know how to make French dressing because French dressing isn't vegan if you buy it at the store I have a recipe up that you could try so we're gonna put four tablespoons of this so four tablespoons of French dressing it's one two three oh look at that I'm right at the bottom of my of my jar almost pretty much that's four tablespoons of French dressing easy enough this is going to help us this is going to help us mix our our seeds and get it nice and creamy. We will have to add a little bit of water, but that's not so bad. Okay. Uh, to this, we're going to add, i got to clean this finger before it ends up going in my mouth. And I'm on a juice fast, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to put this aside for now like this. Okay, two teaspoons of white vinegar. Now, if you want, you could use apple cider. I'm following her recipe. And that's what we're going to use. So we're going to start with one. Unfortunately, I can't even taste this when it's done. But the smell is crazy. My husband went nuts for it. Here, I'll give you an example. This is how much he liked it. This was full up to ear. We made two hamburgers for him. And that's what's left of it. He's been putting this on any slice of bread that he'd pop in his mouth. The guy's gone nuts over it. Look at this. And look at the way it looks. I'm just going to show you. You would think it's mayonnaise. It's just like amazing. You could put this on any, in any sandwich. Uh, you can dip with this. 
It's just like the smell. Ugh. I wish I could just put it in my mouth. But let's control ourselves, Connie. Okay, a little bit of salt. How much salt did you put, Erica? Uh, I just did it to taste. You did it to taste. Okay, well, what taste did you do? I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I am going to say about maybe half a teaspoon. That's just an example because I can't taste this. Taste it, and if you have to add a little extra, you will. So I'm going to say half a teaspoon for now. I know, it's crazy making recipes when I can't taste my food, right? But I do my best. I'm doing this for a month, so I've got to, I've got to be able to cook, right? Okay, and to this, we're going to add some relish. Now, I am going to put um, eight teaspoons, so that would be two tablespoons and an extra okay so that's one. Oh, did you say not to relish right yeah. not to relish you see I messed this up relish goes at the end guys okay sorry don't put the relish right away back into the jar you go okay so we've got our French dressing we've got our vinegar oh two teaspoons of maple Sorry guys, I'm all over the place with this. Two teaspoons of maple. I always use the dark amber because that's the best one for your body. Here we go. And now I'm going to add a little bit of water. How thick do you want your sauce? Do you want it very thick? You use less water. Do you want it very liquidy like a salad dressing where you could just pour it on salad? You add more water. So really how much water depends on you. But I'm going to show you how much I'm using for this batch. So I'm going to start off with just a quarter cup. And I'm going to play it by ear guys. Okay, I'm going to try a quarter cup and then see if I need more. And I'm going to use my Nutribullet. I love this thing. Okay. Ready? I'm going to cream it up and see if I need more water. You see how thick that is? So that's a quarter cup of, um, of water I use. You might even be able to use a little less if you want it thicker. Here we go. So now we're going to put that two tablespoons. And this is where it's even going to start getting. So a quarter cup is good. So we're going to put two tablespoons of relish. One. Two. And we're going to add two, two tablespoons plus two teaspoons. One. Two. And to that, we're going to add... How much onion was this, Erica? Two tablespoons? Eric? And that should be about one, about two tablespoons of onion. I have a little extra, so I'm not going to waste it. It's going to go right in. And you want that onion chopped up really, really fine like your relish. And relish, we're using a sweet relish. And then we mix this all up. I need a little chopstick. There we go. And there it is, nice and thick. And this, as long as it sits in the fridge, it's going to get even thicker. There is your sandwich spread. You could put this on any sandwich. Now, if you want it even... Erica, did you blend this at the end? No? No? Uh, now, if you want this um, thicker than this, consist, consi see my crooked mouth? What happens with my Ramsey Hunt? I can't even talk half the time. Because of the paralyzation I had on my face, my mouth still doesn't, still doesn't work the way it should. Okay, here we go. If you want it thicker than this, I'm not going to try and say words that my mouth can't spit out right now. Uh, if you want it thicker than this, all you have to do is use less than a quarter cup water. If you want it more liquid like a salad dressing, add a little extra water. If you want, um, if you want to um, add, make it sweeter, add a little extra maple. But this is basically your mixture and you could put this 
on any slice of bread you're eating for sandwiches, uh, hamburgers especially. Uh, you could put this in a dog. You could put this um, on a raw portobello. Well, it won't be completely raw because of the uh, the relish and the um, the relish and the French dressing. But I would put this on a raw burger because I'm not a hundred percent raw. I'm like about ninety-seven percent raw. Raw sum. <laughs> There's my raw sum, um, but yes, you um, you can put this on salad dressing if you make it a little a little more liquidy. Uh, so that's how simple. It's a little more liquidy than yours, eh, Erica? How much water do you? I use a quarter cup. I, I probably use less. I just did like little little bits, eh? Okay, so she probably used. But if that's you want, okay. it's gonna get thicker. It me. will get thicker in the fridge. But if you want this a little thicker, instead of using a quarter cup, I'd say use an eighth of a cup. And it is really delicious, guys. Mm -hmm. You will not regret it. It's just a healthier version of my special sauce, right? A Mc little bit healthier. <laughs> a little bit healthier. Well, it's the sun. What it is is... a nice veggie burger. That's right. What's good about this is that instead of having just... Uh, the oil and milk mayonnaise because that's how you make mayonnaise instead of having the mayonnaise part you're using uh, raw sunflower seeds that are loaded 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 with all kinds of vitamins and minerals and health benefits there's the difference uh, it's not a completely healthy 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 but it has healthier stuff in it so if you're okay with this let me take away this because it's putting shadow all over my counter so if you're okay with this, uh, go ahead and try because I promise you, you're going to love it. Uh, I wish I, I wish she took a picture of those burgers she made her father. It's like Big Mac sauce. It's That's like a Big is. Mac sauce, yeah. It's, it's it Big smells, Mac sauce. Vegan Big Mac sauce. It smells just like Big Mac sauce. Fantastic. Except you're not using mayo, you're using beautiful sunflower seeds. So I'm going to put this in the jar. My husband's going to come home to a nice surprise because he's been eating it like... Like, you know, he's got a factory somewhere that he can just simply have it replenished, right? <laughs> and there you go. Yes, I did put more water, I can tell, just by adding it into the uh, into the jar. But that's okay. I added a little extra, but guys, just use less. I'm going to tell you, instead of using a quarter cup, I'm going to say, if you want to do an it the way two. Erica had it, yeah, do an about eight an eight. Cup. And if you need a little extra, just do it like a teaspoon at a time, and you will be able to bring this up to a nice, a nice texture. But there you go, guys. Very easy, very delicious. I wish I can have it. Right now, I can't. I could just smell it. And I can watch my husband eat it. But you will definitely love this recipe and if you don't have french dressing because like i told you french dressing if it's not if you're buying it if you can't find a vegan french dressing you're going to have to make it yourself because the ones at the stores are not vegan so there you go easy easy peasy a nice dressing that you could keep in the fridge and this is going to last for a while or if you're like my husband it's going to last for a day but at least he's getting something good. We're kind of happy because my daughter says, well, at least we know he's he's putting some sunflower seeds in his body and it's good for him. So there you go. Uh, so I hope you like this recipe, guys. And if you're going to try it, come back. Let me know how you like it. And don't forget, go follow my daughter. She's going to start putting up some awesome, awesome uh, recipes on, on her YouTube. She's been really busy with work. She had loads of contracts, so she really couldn't make any videos but she will start up again soon she says she's gonna make the time to do it i don't know when maybe when she's sleeping but she says she will so there you go thank you for following me thank you for having the patience to listen to me ramble on and i want to thank you for everything guys so see you in my next video for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawson Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.